my loves, my name is Gina. Welcome to your love reading. So I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Um, guys, if you are interested in crystals to heal and clear your chakras for anxiety, depression, insomnia, you can visit Kim K Crystals. The link to her website is below. Um, she does live crystal sales on Facebook. Those events are a lot of fun. She gives a, a bunch of stuff away and I choose winners for free readings at those live events. Um, so if you'd like to check it out, the, uh, Facebook link is below. Okay. Um, what else? Special shout out to Juju at Lunar Logic Tarot 1111, Owl Tarot, and Distilled Tarot. Um, the links for those channels should be in the description box below under recommended readers, okay? Um, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel. <laughs> I do choose multiple winners every single month. Um, I give away a bunch of stuff in the description box below. You'll see a whole list of everything that I give away. Just go ahead and hashtag in the description box, in the comment section below, excuse me, what you would like to manifest or win for the, um, the giveaway. Okay. And don't forget to click that notification bell. So you know when my readings post and you know when the winners are announced. All right, let's get started. All right, my beautiful loves, let's see what we have here for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, please, Spirit. Tell me about my Cancer babies, please, Spirit. Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my beautiful Cancers, please. Tell me about Cancer, please, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What do my Cancers need to know today, please? Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity, Guidance, Love Messages. Okay. So we have the Hermit, Virgo Energy, and the High Priestess, Cancer, Piscean Energy. We have the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. Wow, Cancer. Oh, wow. Okay, let's see here. We've got the Moon, Cancer, Piscean Energy, and we have the Knight of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra Energy. Under the deck, we have the devil, Cancer, Piscean energy. So Cancer, this could be energy in or around you. So this could be your situation or it could be something that someone around you is going through. Energy in or around you. Um, this could be your side, could be your person's side. Take what resonates, leave the rest. These are general readings, okay? So moving on, Cancer. Cancer, I feel like with the moon card and the knight of swords, we have a situation here where I feel that I feel like somebody was taking on a very like someone's taking on a very defensive stance, like they're coming, they're moving towards somebody, but they're not speaking their true intentions okay like i'm getting like a masked person here okay with the knight of swords energy it's like this person is moving towards somebody and they're moving towards this person with a plan of attack and it's a fast moving energy but with the moon card there's something that's not being said. There's, there's, there's something that's not being seen. True intentions are not being spoken. With the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups here, I feel like someone here, so Cancer, this could be someone new that has come into your life, let's just say. They want to hang out with you all the time. They want to do things all the time. But their true intention is to not be a friend, but to actually start a new beginning in love and commitment with you. This could be anybody, okay? This could be friend, family member, whatever. You have someone that's coming in that has this intention of the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. Now, with the Hermit and the High Priestess, okay, I feel that this person comes forward and then they withdraw a little bit. They come forward and then they withdraw a little bit. With the Moon card and the High Priestess, they're doing this because they're not speaking their truth cancer so this could be you this could be someone else so what's happening here is cancer somebody is not presenting themselves full time let's just say because they don't want to be discovered does that make sense so it's like 
you'll see this person coming towards you, they're all over you, and then they pull away. And they do this because they're like, if I stay near Cancer, so let's just say this is your person's side, figuratively speaking, okay? Cancer, this might be you. So they're in this energy of, I, I don't want to be around this person all the time because then they're going to figure out that I'm falling in love with them and that I want a relationship with them, right? So I got to kind of come forward and then pull away a little bit so that I don't get, I don't get uh, caught, okay? With the devil card here, Capricorn energy and the nine of pentacles, Virgo energy, the eight of swords under the deck, Cancer, someone here is obsessed, okay? Someone here sees the other person as pre-empress material, independent, solid, beautiful, operates from a higher vibration. They may, you know, because don't forget, we've got a, a, a knight of swords coming towards pre-empress energy. So this person may even feel that this pre-empress energy is too good for them. And guys, when I say pre-empress energy, it, we're not focusing on gender here, okay? It's only energy. Pre-empress energy is just an indication that somebody has achieved everything that they need to achieve in life, and now they're ready to share their life with somebody, okay? So I feel like the person on this side is kind of like one minute they're all over the situation, then they pull back. Why? Because they don't want the other person to see how badly they want a relationship or how much they're falling in love. Do you see what I'm saying? But with the devil and the eight of swords, someone here is upset, like thinking about the other person 24 seven. Okay. So let's see here. Clarity, guidance, ooh, clarity, guidance, love messages for my cancers, please. Tell me about cancer, please. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. Tell me about this knight of swords for cancer, please. The knight of swords for cancer. And tell me about the moon for cancer. Okay. So the ace of swords in the reverse. Cancer, this person is coming forward, rushing in, not being honest. Okay, not in a bad way. Like it's a white lie. It's not like a dramatic lie. It's just that this person's not being honest with their feelings. They're not being honest. Like, let's just say again, cancer. Let's say this is your person. This could be a friend of yours that constantly want that like they want to hang out. They want to hang out. They're making plans, but they're not telling you why they always want to be around you. And then what happens is they pull back because they're like, I don't want them to know that I'm in love with them. Right? The moon card and the eight of wands. So you see, when this person talks to you, Cancer, or when you talk to this person, it could be vice versa, with the moon card, someone here has a lot of hidden emotions, a lot of repressed feelings, that there's a lot of talking happening, but their true intentions are not being stated, okay? See, the page of cups. Someone here is acting friendly, sweet, kind, whatever, but they're not like, I'm in love with you. You know what I'm saying? Like someone's not speaking their truth. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles here. And tell me about the Ace of Cups. Oh my gosh. Cancer. Ace of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. Now, Cancer, the Four of Wands is a representation of an engagement, getting married, moving in together, a divine counterpart, a true soulmate. For some of you, it could be a twin flame journey, okay? Um, with the Ace of Cups and the Page of Cups here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, Cancer, this person wants to offer real commitment, possibly even a proposal of marriage. And with the Ace of Cups and the Page of Cups, it's like whatever this person is presenting, it's just the tip of the iceberg. So if this person's like, hey, you know, I think you're really cool, right? The rest of that iceberg is, I'm so deeply in love with you, I can't even take it anymore, right? So it's like the what they're saying is not even close to their true feelings, okay? Four of pentacles under the deck, they hold a lot in cancer. Tell me about the hermit, please. Tell me about the hermit for cancer. Three of cups in the reverse. Tell me about the high priestess, please. Tell me about the high priestess for cancer. The Justice card, Libra energy. So, okay. Cancer, this could be a situation where you're in a, someone's in a relationship and this person's on the outside of the relationship in love, okay? Because with the Hermit and the Three of Cups in the reverse, this person may end up, remember how I told you they rush in to make plans, do all this stuff, they may cancel plans on you, or this person may withdraw a little bit because they don't want to be a third party. They don't want to be a third wheel, okay? And with the uh, 
high priestess and the justice card this person is keeping their feelings to themselves because they're trying to do what's right and what's fair okay so i'm kind of getting a representation here where somebody is in a relationship in a commitment and there's a third party on the outskirts that is desperately in love okay like desperately in love so cancer i don't know if that's you because we've got the strength card under the deck leo energy so the strength card talks about really, really wanting something, but not pursuing that, not operating on that base emotion because you're, you're operating from your higher self. You're trying to do the right thing. So Cancer, let's just say you are madly in love with somebody who is in a relationship. You're trying the best you can to not speak those feelings because you're trying to do the right thing because they're in a relationship or cancer if you're in a relationship you have someone around you that has very strong emotion and they're trying not to communicate that because they're trying to do the right thing okay so let's see here spirit what messages do we have here for my cancers please tell me about my cancers please clarity guidance love messages for cancer please Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity, Guidance, Love Messages for my Cancer, please. Ooh. So we've got the Six of Cups. We have the Six of Swords. Clarity, Guidance, Love Messages for my beautiful Cancers, please. What do my Cancers need to know today, please? The World Card in the Reverse. Nine of Pentacles, there's that pre empress energy again, Virgo energy. I got to take this. Five of Wands and the Six of Wands. Under the deck, we have the Seven of Wands. Okay, so Cancer, I think this might be an ex Cancer. I think this might be an X because with the Six of Cups and the Six of Swords, what we have on this side, this person left the past behind. They left an X behind and is they're moving on to more peaceful waters. But with the World card in the reverse and the Nine of Pentacles, what the person on this side did is they disconnected from the past. They disconnected from the relationship. They became independent from it. So they're no longer, the person on this side is no longer waiting by the phone. They're no longer emotionally attached. They're no longer financially attached. They have separated themselves from this past person. But with the World card in the reverse, they left a window open. They left a window open. So I feel that this Nine of Pentacles energy and this Knight of Swords energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy, by the way, remained friends is what I'm feeling. Okay, so they, they were, because this Nine of Pentacles left a window open. And now with the Six of Wands and the Five of Wands, I feel here that there's an energy of competition. There's an energy of jealousy. And with the Six of Wands here, I have to be honest with you. I feel like this Nine of Pentacles energy, it makes this Nine of Pentacles feel good to make this past person jealous or to see to make, to show them that there's competition. So I kind of feel like the reason why this Nine of Pentacles left the door open or left the window open is to show this person how good they're doing without them. Do you see what I'm saying? To create those feelings of it's kind of like an in your face energy, right? With with the seven of wands there's blockages here so i don't feel that this nine of pentacles is looking to invite this knight of swords in but they do want to keep the knight of swords like on the outskirt to show this person like look at how good i'm doing you could have had this but you lost it oh well <laughs> you know what i'm saying it's kind of like that energy um so i feel like there's um, you know you might possibly in a be in a relationship or you could be single whatever it is though someone is staying friends with an ex or keeping an ex at bay allowing this ex to infiltrate their life and look at their life but from a distance just so they could be like yep you could have had it but you lost it you know what i'm saying let's see here Tell me about the Six of Cups here for Cancer. Tell me about the Six of Cups for Cancer. We've got the Sun card, Leo Energy. Tell me about the Six of Swords for Cancer. 
we've got the hanged man in the, in the reverse. So Cancer, these are both cards of enlightenment. Okay, they're both cards of enlightenment. So Cancer, I feel like the person on this side came to realize that with this ex and with this past person, you had to leave it behind. This person maybe was non-committal, playing games, not being serious, acting like a fool. You know, the fool card doesn't pull up with a moving truck. He pulls up with a backpack. So this may have been someone that was very on and off, very here, very there, all over the place. So Cancer, I feel like the person on this side came to realize that, you know, life with this Knight of Swords energy just was going nowhere and they disconnected. Yeah, see? The Eight of Cups. Someone here realized, you know what, this is someone that's not serious. I'm going to emotionally unhinge, emotionally disconnect. And that's when all of a sudden, tables turn. Aries Scorpionic energy, the Wheel of Fortune and the Tower. By someone doing this, it's just like an explosive change happened where now this Knight of Swords energy is in this person shoot like it, it's role reversal you see what i'm saying role reversal tell me about the world card here in reverse for cancer eight of pentacles tell me about the nine of pentacles for cancer nine of pentacles for cancer please the moon card cancer piscean energy so cancer i feel like again that window was left open Okay. And with the eight of pentacles, I feel like, you know, you work things out with this person in a sense of, yeah, we could be friends. We don't have to kill each other. We can talk, you know, we can, we can communicate and do all that stuff. Uh, that's fine. Okay. But with the moon card and the nine of pentacles, this person is hiding how they feel. And this nine of pentacles is also not speaking their truth because this nine of pentacles, their true intention is to be like, you know what? You could have had me, but you lost me. Ah, ha, ha. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? So this person is rushing in because, you know, this person is sta standing their ground because they, they just want to stay on the out outskirts just in case they have a chance again to have a new beginning. And this person's like, yep, you stay right there. You see what I'm saying? With the two of pentacles and the three of wands, this pre-empress energy wants this knight of swords to stand on the outskirts, waiting and yearning, being unsure, not knowing what's going to happen. You want to know why, Cancer? Because that's where this person was this whole time. That's where this nine of pentacles was. This nine of pentacles was juggled, treated like a joke. You know what I'm saying? Again, no, no, no commitment, nothing. You understand? So this nine of pentacles walked away and now this person's going through that. Tell me about the six of wands, please. It's kind of like, if you want my attention now, fight for it. Okay. Six of wands and the six of cups. See, I feel that this nine of pentacles is telling this knight of wands if, you know, if you want victory, like they're trying to show off in front of the six of cups. Like they're trying to say, again, this could have been yours and now it's not. You know, you want me, but you can't have me. You know what I'm saying? Tell me about the five of wands. I feel like this X is trying to win against competition. Tell me about the five of wands for cancer. Yeah, nine of pentacles in the reverse. Virgo energy, pre-empress energy. Cancer, I feel... <sighs> Number one, I feel like there's a lot of people trying to take you off the market, Cancer. They don't want you to be single. You've got a lot of people fighting over you, okay? And number two, I kind of feel like this ex wants to win because they need you, Cancer. This person is jealous over you. They need you. They feel like they can't live without you. Um, you know, this person, I feel like ultimately doesn't want anyone else to have you, okay? But they're being blocked. You know what I'm saying? They're being blocked because you're, you're just, you've become independent from them. You're not, you don't care anymore. Tell me about the challenge here for cancer. Tell me about the challenge here for cancer. The challenge for cancer. Okay, so we have the seven of swords. We have the two of swords. And we have the page of wands. Leo, Sag, Aries energy. And we have the three of wands. Cancer, the challenge here is that someone with that page of wands energy has to just be a friend. 
They have to just be a friend. But they're standing there. They're standing there trying to sneak their way back in, hoping... See, they don't want you to realize that they are an option. So what this person's doing is they're kind of like standing on the outskirts, pretending to be your friend. They don't want you to know that they're still interested romantically. Do you understand? So they just want to sneak their way back into your life. With the Three of Wands, the challenge here is that someone is really missing you. Three of Wands, Nine of Swords, the Three of Pentacles, and the Five of Swords. Someone here kept playing mind games. They kept sabotaging the connection, and now... Now they are yearning, they are missing you, they are craving you. And with the Nine of Swords energy, this person can't even sleep at night. Nightmares, crying, pain, overthinking, wishing they could go back to work things out with you with that Three of Pentacles energy, okay? You know, that Five of Swords talks about an empty victory cancer, okay? So someone here, at the point in time that they were hurting you, maybe they were winning. But overall, they ended up losing, big time. You see what I'm saying? It's kind of like, you know, who laughs good, laughs last. So I don't know if you've ever heard that saying, but it's basically, you know, who laughs really good right now is going to be the last one laughing in the end. Do you see what I'm saying? So when this person was hurting you, they were snickering under their breath, all cocky and everything until you took your power back, flipped the script on them. And now they're the last ones laughing as you sit there and throw shit in their face, right? That's life. Tell me about the outcome here. Tell me about the outcome here for Cancer and this person. What outcome are we seeing between the Cancer and this person? Okay. Whew. Three of Swords in the reverse. The King of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy, and the Six of Pentacles. Under the deck, the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Cancer, what we have here with the outcome is somebody, okay, so the King of Wands is very persistent. The King of Wands is very passionate. The King of Wands, I'm kind of getting an energy of like, a, have you ever seen a cat when they're ready to pounce the patience and stamina and stillness? That's what I'm seeing in my mind's eye, right? So someone here wants to heal the situation with you. They also want to get rid of any third party energies. This person has their eyes locked and loaded on you. And with the Six of Pentacles here, okay, uh, that's a very generous energy. So this person's going to give a lot of time, a lot of attention, a lot of, you know what I'm saying? They're going to be very generous. They're going to they're gonna be very sweet, very kind. With the Queen of Cups, Cancer, I feel, it, and the Four of Wands and the Two of Wands, this person knows that now they have to fight to be chosen. You know, before it was just offered to them on a gold platter. Okay, now they have to fight to be committed to you. Do you understand? Queen of Cups, Four of Wands, and the Two of Wands. Do you understand what I'm saying? So they see you as their divine counterpart. We see the Four of Wands here twice. They see you as wife material, husband material, someone they want to settle down with, but they know they have to wait to be chosen. Okay, and the Empress here is the prize. The Empress is the prize. So when this Empress was giving that love and devotion and loyalty freely, they didn't appreciate it. But now that they have to fight for it and wait for it and be patient for it and work for it, now they're locked and loaded on the prize, okay? All right, guys, let's take it into the extended. Let's see what's gonna happen here. Is this ex going to win? Are they going to win back your affection? What are their true intentions? Are they going to go back to cheating? You know, is this only in the moment or once they get you, is everything going to fall apart again? Okay, so let's ask those questions, see what we can find out, and we'll pull some Oracle um, for more clarity in the extended. Okay, so the link for the extended is in the description box below and in the comment section below. I love you guys so very much, and I will see you guys soon. Bye, loves.